people. So today I decided to film this makeup look for you. It is all eyeshadows from the Lorac 2 palette, or the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, I really like eyeshadow looks that all come from the same eyeshadow palette, just because I know everybody doesn't have a billion eyeshadows. So for this look, you only need the one eyeshadow palette. Um, so if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. professionals hold on their eyelashes. Just in case you were wondering. So starting out with some tape in my eyes just so I can get a nice precise line, I'm starting out by priming my eyelids with Max Painterly Paint Pot. Starting with the Lorac Pro 2 palette, I'm picking up the color Nectar on a MAC 217 brush and I'm blending it into the crease and the upper crease from inner corner to outer corner or concentrating on the outer corner and just blending it until I have the desired color that I'm looking for. Out of that same palette, I'm going to be picking up the color Light Brown and basically doing the same thing except this is more defined into the crease. On a big fluffy brush, I just took a little bit more of Nectar just to blend everything together. Picking up Max Fix Plus, I'm going to spray it on my brush and pick up the color Rose, and I'm going to be putting this all over the center and outer corners of my eyelid, keeping the inner part open. Make sure you go back to your blending brush just to blend away the harsh edges. Next, picking up the color beige, it is a lighter color, and I'm just going to be putting that in the inner part of my eye and around my inner tear duct. Then, again, make sure you get your blending brush just to blend away any harsh edges. Next is the color Cool Gray. I love this color. It really makes it look like you are having like shadows in your eyes. Um, so I'm just going to be putting this in the very outer V of my eye and then just slightly blending it up into the crease. And I'm using a just a brush that came with one of my Naked palettes. And then I'm going to be going back with my big fluffy brush and making sure it's all blended. So I decided to go back in with a little more of that rose color just because I felt like some of it got blended away when I was blending. Picking up the color buff, I'm just going to be using this as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to be using gel eyeliner today by Maybelline, giving myself a slight wing. remove the tape. Moving on to the face, I'm using Benefit Professional as a primer and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation. Now I do realize that this foundation is a little bit dark for my face but I do self tan so it does match my neck and the rest of my body. Moving on to concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. Concealer, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. And to bronze up the skin, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. To 
to contour my face, I'm using the color Fawn in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And when you're contouring, make sure that you're putting it on your underneath your cheekbone. So I drew a little line there with my brush, so it would be approximately from the top of your ear down to the uh, side corner of your mouth, and that is where you want to stay contouring. And I'm also going to be contouring my nose, just the sides of it. So I'm also going to be using the banana shade to highlight down the bridge of my nose and just on the very sides of my nose just to make sure that it looks nice. I mean obviously, I wouldn't want to look bad. <laughs> on the lower lash line I'm going to be starting out with the color Cool Gray just on the very outer part of my eye and then on the inner part I'm going to be putting that rose color and then to blend it all out I'm going to be using the color Light Brown. For blush I'm going to be using Songbird by Becca. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using Moonstone by Becca. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic, and you could just leave it there, but I like going all glammed out, so I'm going to be adding false lashes, and these are the House of Lashes in Iconic. For lips, I'm going to be lining my lips and filling them in all with the same color, and this is Spice Lip Liner by MAC. It's crazy. I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm sorry. 